Perhaps I've been too optimistic about the way that I try to look at newer movies, you know, when I actually watch them. I don't really get much enjoyment out of nitpicking movies to try to find anything that might be woke in them. That, that's not enjoyable. I want to make sure that a movie isn't going to program me into thinking a certain way. I want to fight against that, but that's not usually how bad these things are. They're, 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 they're not quite to that degree, usually. You know, I just expect movies to have some of this built into them in one way or another. And I try to focus on the actual entertainment value a piece of entertainment has. This is how I was able to enjoy the female Ghostbusters movie. I actually laughed out loud a couple, at least a couple times in that. And it's, it's, I don't actually laugh out loud that often at something that I'm watching on the screen. You know, they'll get a big, big smiling grin on my face, smiling grin. You better get a big grin on my face, but usually not a laugh, you know? But then again, you know, I'm the guy that laughs at something just because it's stupid, no matter what reason it's stupid, you know, whether it's intentionally stupid or not. Silly stuff. I, I love silly humor, too, so. I don't particularly like the direction Hollywood movies have went, but what kind of person would I be if that's all I wanted to spend my time doing is complaining about that? You know, how, how weak and pathetic would I have to be to constantly do that. I mean, maybe it's, you know, maybe if there was some sort of grifting thing that could be done out of that, and when, and there's plenty of, of channels that grift over this sort of thing, but but I know that I've, I've had made my fair share about, you know, how I feel about Hollywood, so. But honestly, this Acolyte series doesn't scream this stuff nearly as much as, as a lot of other popular pieces of entertainment. It wasn't screaming this sort of thing to me. Perhaps some people are angry just because it they put Jedi's and and the the using calling it the Force and all that. Some people are, are upset just because it's looked at in this these this new series as just another religion and that there can be oppressive elements to it. Perhaps some people are angry that a new character suddenly has that much power and they're female, so it makes it even that much weirder to them. All of this makes me think about why, you know, it makes me ask the question of why do we find movies and TV shows so important in our culture? Why do they matter so much to people in Western societies, especially the United States? What's more entertaining, a great movie from the late 70s or a TV show from the late 70s, a good TV show, that's been remastered to look like it was just made, or visiting a beautiful place, whether it's architecturally beautiful, whether it's a beautiful nature scene, or a beautiful sunset. Or how about watching dogs or cats play, playing a board game with friends? What do you get more out of? What enriches your life more? What's harder to replace? If our entertainment industry tanks, it will probably eventually come back without as much of the ideological BS. But who knows?